Hi again. Welcome to D Week. We are doing two art projects this week. The first art project is D is for duck. And the second one is the one I'm going to do with you right now. And it's D is for dinosaur. D is for dinosaur. This is a dinosaur with dots. Dinosaur starts with D and dots start with D. Let's do a quick reminder before we get out our dinosaur and get started what our letter D looks like. This is our letter D. D is for Dudley Duck. And D, remember that D is a tip tapper, so you'll need to put your tongue on the magic spot. That's right behind your front teeth. Way up there. D, 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 D. You have to tip tap the magic spot behind your front teeth to make your D sound. That's why we call it a tip tapper because your tongue will tip tap right on the magic spot behind your teeth. D, 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 D. Now, if you're feeling that here, then that means you're probably saying a throat sound, that you're doing a throat sound. You'll wanna make sure you've got your D, D, your tip of your tongue on the magic spot. D, 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 D. Very nice job. Let's move on to our dinosaur. Miss Laura's dinosaur right here is green. It's a green dinosaur with rainbow dots. Let's see what color Miss Terry's dinosaur is going to be today. My dinosaur is, ooh, his neck is a little bent. My dinosaur is black. I have a black dinosaur, just like my jacket. My jacket is black and my shirt is black today. All right. Let's see what else is in the bag. There's a smaller bag in there. What's in the smaller bag? We have our eye. Can you see that? I'll put that in my hand. You can see that better. Can you see the eye? See if you can find the eye in your little bag. And these are my dots. D is for dots. See if you can find the dots in your little bag. Okie doke. We're going to start with the eye. So you're going to need your starter kit right here. And you're gonna pull out your school glue right there. And you're gonna have a grown up help you, because glue's a little messy. You're gonna go ahead and open the top like that and find the head of the dinosaur. So right here is the dinosaur's head. That's the front of the dinosaur. And this is his tail, that's the back of the dinosaur. We're gonna put the eye on the front of the dinosaur, on the dinosaur's head. The dinosaur is looking back like that. His head is kind of bent because he's looking back. We're gonna go ahead and put the eye on his head right here. You see how I made an eye with the glue? We're not going to leave it like that because when that dries, we won't be able to see the white anymore. We're going to want to put that eye right here, right on that head, like that. Now 
we're gonna close up the glue because it's kind of like magic. We won't need any more glue for this art project. Do you know why? Because these are sticker dots. They're stickers. Stickers are things you can peel off and stick somewhere. That's why we call them stickers. That means they have, they're sticky on the back. When you peel them off, they're sticky and they'll stick somewhere. You have to be careful with stickers because once you stick them on something, it's hard to get them off. So make sure that you, you only use these with paper and things that you have permission. That's a long word. You have to ask mom and dad or grownups in your house first before you put stickers on things because they can be hard to get off. These dot stickers are just for your dinosaur. So I'm going to actually put my dinosaur on this yellow tray so we can see him better and I can tip him a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Now, I think we're going to start with the red stickers. Let's count how many red stickers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight red stickers. I am going to peel them off. You might need some help from mom and dad. Let me show you how this works. When you're learning how to do this, sometimes you might need the grown up to bend the paper for you, or you can learn how to do this by yourself, but you're gonna probably kind of bend it a little, and then the sticker will start to pop off, just like that. And then we're gonna peel that off. Can you see how it's kind of coming off there? You can peel it off, just like that. Look, sticker's gone, and now the sticker, where's the sticker? It's on my thumb. It's off the paper and on my thumb. Once we stick it on the dinosaur, it probably won't come off very well. Alrighty, now I'm gonna stick on my very first dot. Can you see that? These stickers are a little harder to see on the black. Okay, I'm gonna put on all of the red stickers first. There we go. I want to make it so you can see him. All right, I'm going to peel them off my paper. See how I'm bending that a little bit? I'm going to stick all of those red stickers on. Ooh, look how I peeled off the four red stickers at the bottom. Now I'm going to take off the four red stickers at the top. I'm going to bend the paper just like that. Stick that on. That'll be a lot of dots on my dinosaur. Dots on dinosaur. That's our activity today for D, D week. That's a lot of tip tappers. Dots on dinosaurs. Okay, I have all the red ones on. They're a little tricky to see on the black. Can you see some of my dots there? There we are. All right, now I get to pick another color. You can pick whatever color you like. You don't have to do the same colors that I'm doing when I'm doing it. You can do it your way with your grown up. And if you need to put the video on pause, stop it for a second so you can make your choices and do your dinosaur just the way you want to do it with your grown up. It's okay to pause or stop the video and then turn it back on when you're ready. It's okay to do that. I'm going to do yellow next. I see that there are four yellow uh, stickers. Can you see that? So once again, I'm going to bend the paper and that will help get it off. So grown ups, you can bend the paper till it sticks up like that. And you can just let your child grab the tip that's sticking off. If peeling is hard for them at first, you bend and hold the paper and all they have to do is pull it off. And kids and grown-ups, after you get really good at peeling stickers, 
Then you can do what Miss Terry's doing. So I'm using my helper hand to hold the paper and I'm using my other hand to bend and peel. Bend and peel. This is my helper hand that holds the stickers. All right, now I have light blue and I have green. I think I'll do the blue next. Helper hand's gonna hold my stickers and then I'm gonna bend. Grownups can be the helper hand for the child or they can do it all by themselves, whatever works for you. I'm putting on all the blue dots. Oh my goodness, look at my sticker paper, my sticker page. When we started, there were dots all over the paper. Now all I have left are green dots, just one line of green dots, four green dots. That's all that's left. Let's put on our four green dots. And now, no dots left. My paper was full of dots and now it's empty. No more dots. But I do have a very fun dinosaur with dots all over his body. Dots on dinosaur. Thanks for joining me for my for this activity today. Thanks for sharing this time with Miss Terry to do dots on dinosaurs. I'll see you later on. I hope you keep enjoying D Week. Bye now.